Welcome to the fourth in the basics series of Panel Pilot Ace tutorials. In this video, we're going to show you how to add a dial meter. Um, so, we've got our background here and our first screen, and we need to add um, the two images that we're going to use to create our dial meter. The first is the background or the scale. We've got that labeled here as uh, rotating needle.png. We want to set that to its original size and then position it where uh, we'd like it to appear on the screen. Now we need to add the needle. Uh, so again, go ahead, drag a, an image onto our project screen, uh, select needle.png, and then again set it to its original size and locate it where we want. Now because we're going to be using this um, image in a couple of places, uh, we're going to need to give it a, a, a unique name. So I'm just going to go up here in the properties header and change it to Neil and that will just help me find it and identify it um, as we come to attach um, behaviors to it. So now we need to tell it to act as a needle. It just looks like one at the moment. So we'll drag the rotating needle function onto the screen and the analog input. So those are the two components that make up um, how this dial is going to behave. So in the properties editor in the rotating needle function we're going to assign the analog input 1, tell it that we want it to use the needle to, to rotate and also tell it which position we want it to rotate around, so in this case the bottom center. We can also adjust the angle of rotation. So that's that. Um, we can go here into the emulator and using our voltage simulator we can just simulate moving between 0 and 10 volts um, and you can see that the rotation is proportional to that 